Hi. So um, apart from all my cabaret exploits, I have about a thousand jobs, and one of them, I'll be happy to let you all know, I have a master's degree in science and education from Fordham University. In vulgar parlance, I am a certified New York State high school English teacher. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And, um, and I have decided that I'm going to use this degree that many people use for evil. I am going to use it for good. However, I still don't want you to send me an email using an apostrophe S to make something plural because I will correct it and I will send it right back to you. I also would prefer if you didn't speak to me using words that don't exist. Conversate. Well, that's not a word. Irregardless. Nope. Supposably. <laughs> and listen, it's not just regular old everyday stuff, it's music. I'm pretty convinced that music has been making us dumber for decades. Miss American Pie Drove my Chevy to the levee But the levee was dry Them good old boys Were drinking whiskey and rye Alright, hold on a second Them good old boys, that's horrible But we're gonna go right over that To the whiskey and rye Now as many of you may know Rye is a kind of whiskey So saying you're drinking Whiskey and rye Is saying the same thing twice it's like saying, last night for dinner, I went home and I had pasta and spaghetti. It's redundant. All right, and let's bring up something that always makes me crazy, the lay lie confusion. You take a pen, you lay it on the table. You are standing, you become horizontal, you lie down. So lay, lady, lay should be lie, lady, lie. <laughs> lay down, Sally. Should be, lie down, Sally! Yeah. Weren't you the one who tried to hurt me with goodbye? Did you think I'd crumble? Did you think I'd lay down and die? No, but you might lie down and die. <laughs> and then there's the people who just change things for no good reason, okay? Bach and Harnick were totally right when they wrote, if I were a rich man. You use the subjunctive tense when expressing a wish or dream, right? Why Gwen Stefani changed it to if I was a rich girl when she sampled that song, I'll have no idea. People mix this one up all the time. What if God was one of us? He'd probably smite your English teacher. Damn, I wish I was your lover. Um, no. If I was a sculptor, but then again, no. And it isn't just pop writers that do it, musical theater writers do it too. Listen, I'll give you some leeway if the character you're writing for is stupid. Which cannot set up in act one, scene one of Bye Bye Birdie that Albert Peterson is an English teacher and then have him use the word bickerish three scenes later, because as any English teacher will tell you, bickerish is not a word. Same thing with Professor Henry Higgins, whose job in My Fair Lady is to teach someone English. He sings the lyric, but I'm so used to hear her say. Huh? What? Put on your Sunday clothes when you feel down and down. Strut down the street and have your picture took. Jerry Herman! Jerry Herman! I'll give you this line for Cornelius, because he's a moron. But then all of Yonkers joins in. There's not one guy in the back like, guys, guys, it should really be have your picture taken. Oh my God, then there's the third grade mistakes, okay? Subjects should always agree. So Bono, your song should be about where the streets have no names. And then there's just verb tense problems. Billy Joe, oh, he slipped away. 
Bobby Sue took the money and run. Ran! And how about a game of fill in the blank? In New York, concrete jungle where dreams are made of. Made of what, Alicia Keys? Made of what? Yeah! Man, one day she's going to finish that lyric. And I'm going to be there to find out what concrete jungles are made of. Oh, then there's just the blatantly wrong. Completely wrong. Beyonce, I love Beyonce, but that song Deja Vu, I do not know what's going on with her. She might be hallucinating, she might be haunted, but nothing she describes in that song is Deja Vu. And then we have Alanis and Ironic, okay? The only thing ironic about that song is that there's nothing ironic about that song. It should really just be called, you know, sometimes bad shit happens. But my favorite. Sometimes the snow comes down in June. True. Sometimes the sun goes round the moon. False. <laughs> so what am I, the lone English teacher on a mission to do about this? Well, I'm gonna take out my proverbial red pen. I don't care anymore, I'm just gonna start correcting it. One fewer bell to answer. One fewer egg to fry. One fewer man to pick up after. I should be happy, but all I do is cry. She has a ticket to ride. She has a ticket to ride. She has a ticket to ride, and she doesn't care. Oh, what does love have to do, have to do with it? What's love but a second-hand emotion? What does love have to do, have to do with it? Who needs a heart when a heart can be broken? I can't get any satisfaction. high esteem when people see me they will scream for half of Oz's favorite team the wizard and me I said whip it whip it well so much. Um, honestly, I, I thought Sherry was calling me about Mac bi business when she called me about this award. I had no idea. I, I'm just so thrilled that you all recognized me. Roy has seen every one of my shows since 2004. I'm just so happy to be here. Um, and comedy is such a, you know, a subjective thing. I just am very happy that I grew up in a house where um, nobody ever told me I couldn't watch any show or read any book or learn anything in the world. I was listening to the dirtiest, dirtiest things as a child. <laughs> we had this joke book that was this big. It was of all Milton Berle jokes. And it was like, there was like this whole part that was just called Dirty. And I read it all the time. <laughs> Problem. Um, so I love that for my family for being, they're here. My parents are here. Um, and I love them for encouraging that. And also because um, my dad's a gynecologist and that provides so much material. So I... <laughs> Love that. 
Proud, it's a proud gynecologist. Um, uh, and I, uh, I'm appreciative of everyone who finds smart humor funny, because I love it. It's like my favorite thing to smart humor. So thank you all. And thanks to the duplex, because I love the duplex, and to Lenny Watts and to Sidney Meyer and to uh, Stephen Ray Watkins, who have all been there with me since the very beginning of me doing anything. So I appreciate all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you.